saw one bed go past. A poor guy had blood caked all over his face. He um, just was not responsive at all. Same thing with the lady. They're just all out of it. Uh, by the time I left, I overheard the nurses saying they've managed to get most everyone stabilized, which is a blessing. It really is. He did not resist. He did not put up a fight. I don't know the exact details if the officers surprised him or how it actually happened, but I know some of the first officers that, you know, arrived within, I don't know if it was seconds, maximum a couple minutes, uh, found him behind the theater at his car and took him into custody there. That's some of what the eyewitnesses on the scene uh, have been saying this morning in the wake of this terrible tragedy. 14 people is the number given to us by police of those who have uh, have died. 10 in the theater, another four uh, being declared dead as they uh, arrived at area hospitals. Got to take a short break. We're going to be back uh, in just a moment yeah, with an update on this breaking news story. While I was here waiting to talk to the doctor, I, I heard the call come in at the nurse's station. From what I can see, there are people unconscious, people bleeding. Bomb squad teams, we've had wonderful support from our law enforcement friends, uh, and we're just as a precaution checking all the cars in the parking lot for explosives. That will go on for quite some time. That was the police chief, Dan Coates, the Aurora police chief, updating uh, people on what happened there. We uh, have uh, Christine monitoring what's happening uh, in area hospitals. And we know that the youngest victim uh, so far of the theater shooting, a patient who is doing fine, we're told, uh, an ER doctor telling KCNC, the youngest patient is three months old, doing fine, thankfully, but a three-month-old is the youngest patient. We know that so far the oldest patient we can see in one of these hospitals is a 45-year-old. A six-year-old is at Children's Hospital where they have six patients, uh, anywhere from six to 31. Um, the Medical Center of Aurora has, um, I think, uh, or sorry, Denver Medical has um, five in fair condition, 11 in critical condition there. Uh, that's the issue here with this. Some people have tear gas, uh, decontamination they're going through. Some people have some shrapnel injuries. Some people have grazing and um, they're, they're, in, they're okay. They're in fair condition, but they have uh, gunshot related wounds. There are others though who are in surgery at this hour in critical condition and, and, and it's a, a, a pretty still very dangerous moment for some of those people who were taken out of that um, out of that theater. Uh, one thing that's interesting as well about the moments after this shooting, again, a, a midnight showing of, of the dark night, some were taken to area hospitals and ambulances. Some came in on foot later as they realized that they had minor injuries sold at, and some came in the back of police cars. A police arriving on the scene, one case, a police officer witnesses tell us a walking out of the theater with the, with, with the still not moving body of a small child, a little girl, a six-year-old or a nine-year-old, depending on, on which eyewitness you're talking to. We still don't know the status of that child, but a child who was taken out of the theater unconscious. Police spokesman said that they arrested the suspect uh, in the rear of parking lot theater. Uh, he's reported to be 24 years old, a man who lives in North Aurora. We've seen aerial pictures of, of what is believed to be his residence, which is surrounded now by SWAT teams and police and firefighters uh, and ambulances as well. Uh, we've also seen pictures of what is believed to be the suspect's car, a white vehicle uh, that we saw uh, some of law enforcement searching a little bit earlier this morning. Uh, we're told that the gunman was heavily armed, wearing a gas mask uh, and goggles as well, uh, and heavily uh, with the shotgun, a rifle, according to eyewitness descriptions. And also, police say they found a, a third weapon, a gun, in the theater. Uh, we want to get to John Berman. He's got an update on uh, what is uh, happening on Twitter as people were early, uh, really among the first to report uh, what was going on in the movie theater. Uh, Soledad, this is uh, a national tragedy and as you would expect uh, our nation's leaders uh, are now weighing in we have a statement I want to read you uh, from President Obama who says Michelle and I are shocked and saddened by the horrific and tragic shooting in Colorado federal and local law enforcement are still responding and my administration will do everything that we can to support the people of Aurora in this extraordinarily difficult time we are committed to bringing whoever was responsible to justice ensuring the safety of our people and caring for those who have been wounded this is President Obama as we do when confronted by moments of darkness and challenge, we must now come together as one American family. All of us uh, must have the people of Aurora in our thoughts and prayers as they confront the loss of family, friends, and neighbors. And we must stand together with them 
in the challenging hours and days to come. The president was informed of this shooting by his Homeland Security Advisor John Brennan around 5.30 a.m. this morning. FBI now uh, racing the, to the scene to help out, of course. Uh, Mitt Romney, the Republican nominee, presumptive nominee, also putting out a statement this morning. Mitt Romney says, Anne, his wife, Anne and I are deeply saddened by the news of the senseless violence that took the lives of 15 people in Colorado and injured dozens more. He says 15 at this point, CNN reporting 14 people killed. Mitt Romney continues, we are praying for the families and loved ones of the victims during this time of deep shock and immense grief. We expect that the person responsible for this terrible crime will be quickly brought to justice. That's from Governor Mitt Romney, who was scheduled to campaign in New Hampshire today. The president scheduled a campaign in Florida today. You can expect, I imagine, that their comments will be tempered somewhat today. So let Yeah, one would have to imagine. All right, John, thank you for that. Uh, the eyewitness description has been uh, absolutely horrific as they describe the gunman uh, entering the movie theater and then eventually just opening fire uh, seemingly randomly at the people who, in some cases, still thought the, the movie was going on, still thought some of the noise they were hearing was, was from the movie. I want to play for you uh, some of the eyewitness reports uh, that we've been gathering. She said that a man uh, about six feet tall, taller than her, uh, kicked through the door, and he was in a, a like she said a riot helmet. Um, she said he was in, had a bulletproof vest on. Uh, you know, she said that he was completely covered in all black with goggles, and he. She said that um, after that point, when she saw that he was holding a shotgun. They, her and her boyfriend dropped to the floor and just kind of started to crawl to see if they could get away. Um, they got up and they started to run through the emergency exit. Um, she said that when she turned around, all she saw was the guy slowly making his way up the stairs and just firing people, just picking random people. It appears that there was some sort of uh, smoke or gas. Um, we're hearing reports of an explosion. We don't know if that was part of the smoking gas or a separate device. Uh, I, I have heard that he was wearing a vest, uh, as well as we did recover uh, at least one rifle, a handgun, and I believe there was another gun of some sort inside the theater that was left. As they were leaving, he witnessed a baby, an infant, get shot. But yeah, they said gas bombs um, as they were leaving and then just gunshots all over the place. And it started in the theater that I had bought tickets to. So it was, it was kind of a mind blower. While I was here waiting to talk to the doctor, I, I heard the call come in at the nurse's station. From what I could see, there are people unconscious, people bleeding. And they believe that everybody left just as quickly as they could. Many people are standing outside with nothing more than what they walked out of their apartment with. And, and Jason, I know you've talked to those people. Do any of them know the young man who appears to live in this apartment? Well, at this point, the people who we're talking to uh, don't know, but we have not publicly released uh, the name of this person, so it's tough. However, what, what we're hearing, we have not come across anybody who has said that they knew of this individual, at least at this time. All right, Jace Larson, who's outside the suspect's apartment building outside Aurora, Colorado, as we continue to follow this. And just a reminder, the suspect is in custody. We have conflicting reports, frankly, on the death toll right now. The Aurora police chief now saying it stands at 12. We have another report that says it could be as high as 16. And we know there are some critically injured people being treated at local trauma centers. We're going to have much more in a moment. But first, these messages. Diet, I felt like many times she goes days without any food. The theaters in the Century 16 Theater behind me here. Uh, uh, witnesses tell us that he released some sort of canister. Uh, they heard a hissing sound and that gas emerged. So concerned about explosives in the parking lot.